What's up guys, this is Steam Running 107 and we are on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Right now we are in the second hub world of the game after defeating Ripperoo. So looks so we are still on our journey to collect crystals and gems. And look who just came along. Yep, that's right, Coco Bandicoot. And Look what we have here. This little guy. His name is Polar. So it looks like we could be able to jump on him. If I recall correctly, jumping on him enough times will give us some extra lives. Tend to be exact. So anyway, let's head on to the to Snowbiz. Unlock a new path by earning the red gem elsewhere. All right then. I know the red gem is in the f is in the snow level in is in snow go of the first world. Now it's time to get through this level. And as usual, we have the s seals and the penguins trying to kill us. So we have to traverse carefully since there's ice in this level. Alright! The tra it's really slippery so you have to watch yourself. Oh! Looks like we ha we see our old friend, the porcupine. Well I guess we can attack him. We has his spikes up. So, it's just best to avoid him. Okay. Gotta make sure to use the um, slide whenever possible. Whoa! That was a close call. It's a good thing that he could be able to slide up. So it's a good thing that you could be able to slide slide up the um, icy hills, um, icy slopes, and I guess you can hurt the um, porcupines. Whoa, that was close. When their spiky guard is down. Oh, hand boxes from above. Man, the more I'm starting to play this, the more, the more I play this, the more memories are starting to flow back. This is more evident in this game. <laughs> Now it's bonus time. Whoa! Too close for comfort. Let's see what's in the boxes. Hmm. Since the body flop helped me get up there. Alright. So it looks. So the crouching jump can also help me reach higher places. Uh oh, TNT. Well, at least I didn't get hit with that. I gained two lives. Time to head on down. Nothing from behind. So, guess the only way to go is forward. Since it's the traditional Crash Bandicoot thing to do. Hmm. 
Aww. The more I see those little penguins, the cuter I think they are. Okay, now, since there's a gym path and we, ha we didn't get all the boxes, so... But at least we got the crystal. We just have to move on ahead. I believe the ice levels... I believe I enjoyed the ice levels a bit more in in this game. I mean, and I believe I enjoyed the um, ice levels in Crash 2 since they have a certain charm on me. And I do, and I kind of like the winter time since I'm a big, f since Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's, it's my favorite holiday. Although it, on, it doesn't, although it doesn't really, although it doesn't really, um, do, although sometimes where I live, it doesn't really snow as often as other places. Uh oh. So I have to do a perfect one, I believe. Every okay, looks like it's returning the this thing and the landmines, unfortunately. But with Aku Aku on our side, I'm pretty sure we can get through this A-OK. -okay. Riding through this thing can be a bit fun, although the char I'm a bit um, uncomfortable with charging in general. Charging in general, since um, unless it's the ramp, since I feel like I can charge myself into a mine. <gasps> oh shoot! Since I could charge into a mine or the nitro nitro crates, as you saw earlier. All right, bonus time. Such a bright and sunny day. Whoa! Oh. Ah! Missed that one. Okay, that's always another shot. Although it sucks if when you lose Aku Aku. Now it's time to tweet to get over there. And we made it. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Another Venus another Venus fly trap. And those little pillars as well. Okay, it's time for the death. It's time for the um death route. Yes! I'm excited to try this. Oh, oh yeah, the, with the music playing, it brings back some memories. Whoa! No, no, I can't believe it. It sucks. I don't think I could try again. Oh 
Great, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Once more with gusto. Things are going to be intense. Sometimes I have to. I feel safe for doing little short leaps. Okay. <laughs> Felt like it was a little too close for comfort. Oh gosh, time to charge through. Even if I feel a bit uncomfortable doing that. Man, those are some ugly looking hippos. All right. I got a gem for this level. Let's go. I wonder if I have to go back. I wonder if I have to um, go back to that um, death route thing. I have to collect the boxes in the regular route. Maybe, maybe not. Well, you never know. All right. Ha ha ha. Ah. Seeing him do that dance brings a smile to my face. Well, let's try to return and see what we can do. Yeah, we're not messing with that for right now. It's a good minute since I returned to those um levels. And your mileage may may vary, but I find the experience invigorating. I mean sometimes with reboots it's just some of them weren't really authentic. Some of them weren't really authentic. Some of them weren't really authentic. Some of the reboot games weren't really as authentic as others. And sometimes when the reboot and sometimes when the reboots fail, it's just because the classic is usually more. Um, the cl classic is usually remembered more positively than the um, reboot. And there's kind of like, and there is a difference between, and, and speak, excuse me for a moment. <clears throat> it's kind of like this. Um, there, there isn't really, there aren't really original ideas. There aren't, dang, that sucks. I could have got a one up. There aren't really like um original ideas since there there aren't really like um original ideas since some ideas are derived from other works and all that. Ah, guess I couldn't be able to um get on that platform. 
And it really depends. Oh, dang it. Looks like I died. And it depends on the amount of work that people do to make to make their um game movie or book work and who they hire to help them. It's also really important to take notes as to what works and what doesn't work. Sometimes the answer doesn't come as easily, but with some hard work and dedication, anything's possible. So it looks like I got to the level as soon as I expected. Not really sure about this level, but I can always come back to it. Now it's time for the polarizing level. You know the one. Time for Barrett. Going to use Coco. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's just landing on her butt. So it looks like she can't go into the levels with bears with when you have to write polar. So let's get ready for some wacky antics. Woo! Well, I missed. Well, I missed um a box, so I guess I had to start over. So, you have to really be qu qu quick with the um, turning, since the box box since the boxes can. Dang it! Miss an miss another box. Oh, look at the little guy. And. I see that he's um trying to run away in fear. If I recall if I recall him correctly, he was just um just turn he would just had his back at us while Crash just pounces on him. So watch me fall over and over again until I get all the boxes. All right, now the checkpoint. I thought they those um, statues looked like um rabbits. Well, it looks like polar bears or bears. And I, I forgot about the um killer whales. I wonder what whales are doing in a place like this. I mean, I know. I mean, maybe cold waters, cold waters are the environment, but still it's just so crazy <laughs> to encounter them. Whoa. I guess I had to charge. Aw. Little guys are so adorable. Well, I can always do the short leaps if I need to. I know for a fact that I can't be able to jump over those statues, even the short, shorter ones. Now it's time to collect my other prize.
Well, that wasn't so bad, aside from aside from a few mess ups. But it's all in good fun. So we got what we need for this level. Haha. -ha. So it's Coco's time to shine now. Crash Crush. Could be another could be another um chase level. Maybe polar bear this time? Since it's winter and all. Oh, just another boulder. <laughs> now Coco's running in fear. I always like the little touches they put for it. For their for the characters' expressions when they run f for their life. Hmm. Maybe this is it. No. Ha! I can still see the uh, I can still see the shoes and laptop flying. Like I said, if I recall correctly. Wait. If I recall correctly. That was kind of like a part where you can fall down where the bridge used to be in one of the levels. Ooh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so it's kind of like a part where there's just boxes. Still a nice, nice distraction. Oh snap. Time to use the dash pad. Remember kids, never ever play with boulders. I heard one of the guys on the team, I heard one of the guys who worked on this, oh snap. I heard that one of the guys who made the game said that he that the reason why some of the levels are have ice in them is because he enjoys he kind of like enjoys the winter time or something along the lines of that. And he likes sunsets as well. Okay, let's have a little break. After all, all that, all that, um, all that fear and running away has made me a little bit tired. And a little bit hungry for Wampa Fruit. And extra lives. Aw, <laughs> her higher jump is adorable and so happy. Ooh, shiny crystal. I'll take that. You know the, you know the drill. So it looks like we can destroy boxes by just by dashing into them from the dash pad. Uh-oh! Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, Coco. It's 
but I miss a box. So I guess that's the reason. So I guess the reason why there are the dash pads here. Since. Since it gives us the opportunity to slam into the iron box. To gives us a chance to slam into the iron boxes. Now I'm trying to get on out of here. Crystal and got the gem, which she. <laughs> she got her own little dance. Now, this time we are going to the eel deal. Special gem hides behind something fake. Hmm. Uh, something fake. Uh. Let's. Let's see for ourselves. So, so it looks like a sewer level. And there's big fans. Oh gosh. There's also electric eels. Should be obvious since the level is called Eel Deal. <laughs> and it's not very wise to stay in the water for very long. Since they since you'll be electrocuted if you do. I always want to know what the So it looks like those are robotic mice. I should have paid it. I should have paid attention to to it when I was little, but the animals in the enemies in this game have the animal enemies in this game have received some deadly upgrades. I mean, sure we can jump and spin attack against them, but still they have some armor with spikes on. There are even turtles with buzz saws on their shells. Man, this is quite something. All right. So this bonus level is kind of I'm like a breather. So it's all good. Time to get on out of here. Oh no you don't, little man. Let's see what's in this path. See what this path still is. Hmm. There's a hole. One where that leads to. This piques my interest. Hmm. I wonder what's on the up. Uh, I wonder what's on the path with the wampa fruit. Uh, and it's probably wise to avoid the um. 
avoid the um, rats when climbing, when clambering. <gasps> yeah. I don't want any trouble, Bob. I'll just be on my way. How in the world are the bandicoots able to cl climb when they're hanging? And what on earth is that robot thing? Feeling really uncomfortable here. Oh man. I'm pretty sure there's something else. In, I'm pretty sure I'm still miss. I'm, I'm excuse me. Pretty sure there's still some things to get. I'm going back in there again. Oh, <laughs> I, I, where's my head at? I didn't get the crystal. Ugh. Maybe this safe has something inside. Aha! I should have gone through there in the first place. Maybe that something fake holds the green gem in this level. I knew it! Now it's time to head on out of here. But I gotta traverse safely first. Don't wanna lose my Aku Aku mask. Ah! Too late, I did it. Oh, wait. Go through this carefully. Okay. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. We didn't get hurt by the natural crates. Alright. Now to take care of that. Now it's bonus time yet again. Now our business is done here. Let's see what's on the left side. Oh, there's the crystal! Yeah, I really missed a lot in this stage before. But now we got it.
Man, this is a dangerous place to go through. Animals with deadly upgrades, toxic barrel waste, and I think they are machines going, trying to clean up the place or whatever. This place has it all. Now, to get the last three boxes. I th looks like it's molten. Looks like it's molten lava d down below. Pretty obvious I'll get burned if I let go. If I get let, if I let go. Aha! Now to get out of this level in one piece. Yep, I did it. Time to go. Now I got the crystal and two gems. The clear gem and my first color gem. All right. <laughs> so looks like Coco will switch out with Crash when there's a some di when there's some dialogue. Looks like we have some technical difficulties. I'm counting on you. So obviously Coco can't do boss battles, so it's up to Crash to do the job. So we will have the Komodo brothers to fight. The, ch the sword swinging, sword chucking brothers. Now it's time to fight. So I have to spit Komodo Joe into Komodo Mo. So I can. So I can. Oh, whoa. So I can only hurt him when he, so I can only spin him when he's dizzy. It's go I'm not going to jinx myself now. Man. Whoa. On the last hit, he checks the swords. That's it. Man, it's man. It was simpler than I expected. Looks like com the Komodo brothers are com Komodo no mo. Ha <laughs> ha. So we have completed not fully completed the second world but we have we have succeeded in defeating the second boss so we it's onward to the th third world which is designed to be like a sewer how nice but there's still more to come in this adventure Oh! Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now's not the time to get cocky. 
There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Yeah, right, Cortex. As if I believe whatever you say. Okay, this is Steam Money 107. I'd like to say thanks for watching and see you guys next time.